This week in the Scottish Parliament, once again, we've been uh, dealing with a whole range of issues, but uh, the main subject I spoke on uh, was about the Scottish National Investment Bank. Now, that does perhaps sound a bit of a dry subject uh, for many people who are not into banks or investment or these things, but it has a fairly simple purpose. The idea is that uh, there would be a sizable amount of money, we're talking about perhaps £2 billion, pounds, uh, which would be available for investing in a probably private companies, but also uh, it could be in the public sector. And that would be where they cannot uh, borrow the money maybe from the normal banks because they want it back too quickly or the interest rate's too high. And yet somebody might have a, a new idea, a really good idea about uh, developing something which could be exported. They can't raise finance anywhere else. And uh, then the, the Scottish National Investment Bank uh, could be available to, to provide money. So there's a lot of work to be done uh, but it's basically a good idea. Many other countries have uh, such an investment bank and the idea would, wouldn't take over from Scottish Enterprise or Highlands and Elms Enterprise and these organisations, but it would work with them and hopefully uh, just put a bit more money into the system. Uh, it, it's not grants it would be giving. That, that's kind of what Scottish Enterprise does. But um, it would be loans or buying shares in a company that might be growing or otherwise struggling to raise the finance. So I'm very enthusiastic about it. Uh, I think there are questions uh, about it and uh, how it's going to be taken forward in practice. And the committees in the Scottish Parliament will obviously be looking at that. I think what it's not there for is to just bail out companies which frankly are struggling and perhaps failing. And that will be a challenge because some people will want the money used to save a company. But uh, this will be at arm's length from the public sector and there'll be a uh, trained, qualified people there who will have to make these decisions as to whether is this a good investment, even if it's for 30 years or whatever till it returns, or is this a, something that really is not going to give a return. So that was a major topic this week, a, although a very interesting meeting I had too was a representative of the Dalai Lama, and he was telling me about the position for a, Tibetans, who are mainly Buddhists of course, and uh, the difficulties they are having now under the Chinese government. And obviously Tibet would like to be uh, independent uh, once again, but the Chinese, I think, if anything at the moment, are being quite uh, repressive, and there is not a lot of freedom uh, for the Tibetan people, of whom they're much the same numbers as Scotland. Uh, we've got about five million, they've got about six million. Uh, but I think the Dalai Lama is hugely respected and um, at the cross-party group, which I lead, we'll be hopefully having somebody speak about uh, Tibet and Tibetan Buddhism.